Hi guys, welcome back. So, um, what do I have in the bag? Let's take a look. Uh, let's see, what do you think is in there? Huh? What do you think I got today? I can get them out. Okay. So this is what I got guys. I think some people have been waiting for this. I know I have. I've been waiting for a long time. Look what I got, look what I got, I got a lobster! Huh? I don't know what's the best angle here. Oh, look at that. I think this might be a female, I'm not sure. But look at the claws, these are two pounders. And they're hard shell, I'm squeezing the shell, I can't even, I can't even bend it. The hard shells have um, I can't even fit it in the pan. The hard shells are the ones that have the most meat. Some people like the soft shells because they, they say they're sweeter. And they kind of are. But there's no meat in them. It's all water. I don't really particularly care for the soft shells. Um, so, I don't know. You think I can fit two? I got three lobsters. So, I got three two-pound hard shells. I don't know. I didn't go to my friend's place in the city, so I don't know where these are from. Um, but judging by the thickness of these and, this, and that they're so hard, these, these might be Neil's lobsters, I'm not sure. He owns Boston Lobster. Look at that baby. <laughs> oh yeah. I don't know if I can fit it in there. This guy doesn't want to go in. I got one more in the bag. And I also got uh, another little snack in there too. So today, it's what, Saturday? May, I don't know. I lost contract of the days. Um, but after this weekend, I'm turning over a new leaf. <clears throat> I'm gonna um, start getting up earlier. I'm gonna start running. I'm gonna start dieting, exercising. And, I'm, and that's gonna be my um, next few videos. We'll see if uh, you guys can uh, hold me accountable after this weekend. <laughs> you can't you can't start a diet on the weekend, guys. I'm sorry, you just can't. I mean, you have to agree with me there. So I gotta get I gotta get these guys in the pot. I'm gonna steam them up. Some people say boiled lobster, but I don't like to boil my lobsters. Uh, takes all the takes all the flavor out of them. This guy's not going to get in there. <laughs> oh my god. Stay tuned. More to come. So guys, what I'm doing now is um, so I changed a little bit of uh, garlic with olive oil. Not a lot. And if you don't want, if you want like a roasted kind of toasty flavor garlic, you have to slice it. You can't crush it. Um, and this way it doesn't overpower the sauce. So, so we're doing lobsters two ways today. So we're going to put one lobster in the gravy. Now, we call the gravy, in Italian we call the gravy it's tomato sauce. Just in case you guys are wondering what gravy is. <clears throat> so we're going to do, so we're doing two lobsters, we're going to steam them up. These guys will be steamed up. Usually, usually these size lobsters, these two pounders, I will um, split them down the middle and stuff them, but that's too much work. I don't want to do that today. Um, but I do. I do love to have um, uh, lobster steamed, obviously, and, and I like to put one in the gravy because you make a nice tomato sauce with it, and you have a dish of spaghetti with your lobster. It's 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 the way we eat lobster, you know. <clears throat> but this guy is a beauty. Um, if you see here. You'll feel here the shell. Look at my fingers. I'm squeezing it, and there's no there's no give. It's a very it's a very hard hard shell of lobster. Um, and I think this is the female, by the way. The, the the tail fans out like that. It's so fat. Uh, looks like the garlic is starting to simmer. So I got to get my tomato sauce in here. So 
So we're putting a little bit of water in here. When you make when you make a um, a lobster gravy, uh, you want you want to have some water in it. You don't want it to be thick. You don't you don't want the um, you don't you don't want the tomato sauce to be thick. You want it you want it to be a little soupy. And then what will happen is the the lobster will will steam in here. So you see how it's a nice it's a nice consistency. It's not it's not thick. It's a little watery, but not too watery. I have the nice garlic in there. Mm. So now I got to take these. Um, when I steam the lobsters, I don't take these rubber bands off. It doesn't it doesn't affect any flavor. But I don't like to put rubber bands in my tomato sauce. You really you really have to take that out. So I'm sorry if the kitchen's a little messy, but. This is kind of like just a impromptu off the cuff kind of thing. So once you once you take these off, you'll see that these guys are going to be that's their that's their crusher claw. This is the claw that will crush the clams. That's like their cutting claw. It's like a, it's like a, this claw is like a like a scissors. And, oh -oh. Okay, I'm not gonna film this part because I'll probably get dinged on YouTube. Don't ask me why. But so it's gonna go in the pot and the, with the gravy, and uh, we're gonna steam it up. Okay, so we got our um, steam lobsters steaming up. Actually, they're not steaming up because they're not on. <laughs> the pan's not on. Um. Our gravy's cooking. We're gonna bring that up to a kind of like a small boil, light boil. Then we're gonna put it on low. And then the next thing, next thing I have in here, in my little bag of tricks, is steamers. So the steamers, you're gonna want to definitely rinse them. I mean, they live in the mud, in the sand. Some people like to soak them. I don't like to soak them. You, you take the, the flavor, the, the ocean flavor is inside of these clams. If you soak them in, in, in water, in fresh water, um, you re, it, 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 it'll siphon the, the, the fresh water through the, through the system of the body of the clam. But then that's it. There's no salt water left inside the clam. It tastes like nothing. So you definitely, these, these are a pain in the butt. I hate when they give you crushed ones. Um, but, so I usually go clamming, and I, I can get these, and they're usually twice the size of these. I like the big ones, but the beach is closed right now because they don't want people congregating. I don't understand why, why you can go inside Walmart or, or you can go inside uh, Home Depot, but you can't go to the beach. You can't, you can't, go, you can't go clam digging. I don't, I don't understand it. So um, these are called steamers. Um, they're gonna steam up in the pan. So we're just gonna uh, put them in here. And you probably will see a lot of videos where people will put these in cornmeal and you know if if I if I go clamming and I catch these are already perched by the way when you when you get them in the store. There's very very little sand inside them. And I always tell people if you get sand inside your steamers, that means they're fresh. So it, anyways, um, when I go, when I go clam, when I go clam digging, that you can't eat them. You can't eat them at all. You can't unless they're unless you purge them. Ah. So these these steamers, I, I'm I'm not doing anything to them except rinsing them because they, they come from a store and they're already really purged and clean. Um, you do want to rinse them off because they're you know you don't want to get all, all the extra dirt and the, the mud off the outside of the shells. But just you don't want to you don't want to soak these. <clears throat> um, if you go clam digging like I do and you catch your own steamers, you have to purge them for at least 24 hours. 
And what, how I usually do that is I bring home a, a bucket, a couple of five gallon buckets full of seawater. And what you do is you leave the clams in the seawater overnight, um, and then you take them out of one bucket and then you put them in another one, and then they, then they, and they purge a little bit more. By the end of the day, it's like, it's like a little over 24 hours, there's zero sand inside the clams and you, and you still retain all of the flavor of the um, sea. Um, you can't eat steamers um, freshly dug steamers unless you're gonna unless you're gonna purge them first. There's just no way. If you could just smell <clears throat> what I'm smelling, it's awesome. So I'm gonna have a nice little feast today. Getting there. This will take a long time. You have to cook it slowly so all the flavors come out of it. That's it. I'll be eating first thing up on the menu will be the steamers.